Uh, this is my dyno I built. Um, <clears throat> I've had a lot of inquiries about how it all works. And uh, I just thought I'd show a little bit more info on the retarder, on how it works. Um, water comes in, water comes in and travels. Comes into this valve and goes up and back into the, the, um, the retarder. Comes down this pipe here, runs through these two pipes into the retarder. The retarder is independently mounted, it rotates on these two bearings here, comes back to this load cell. This centre part can rotate, only stopping of turning is the load cell. This is how it works out its foot pounds. As the water goes into the retarder it creates a load on the shaft, onto the engine, and that in turn torques against the load cell and that gives you your, um, give you your reading. Um, it was just built out of a Lalan, Lalan fly, a fluid fly oil out of a diesel. Um, got a starter motor mounted here that in turn starts the engine and uh, that fires it up. It's a fairly simple device. The, this box here has got a, a, um, a laser light taco in it which runs back down to the um, this simple homemade sort of a setup. Turn the switch on. It gives you your RPM reading here on the on the um, the gauge. The other is a as a load cell bought off eBay. All it does is is um, just gives you the reading from your load cell. Tells you what poundage you have on the arm, which is exactly a foot from the centre of the shaft to the load cell which gives you foot pounds. Um, the throttle just exists of the motorcycle throttle run through the through the carburetor. Um, down in on the carburetor, just a cable setup, goes in on the carby. Very basic again. Um, that's sort of how it all works. I just got water running through the engine. Water running through the engine which uh, keeps it cool. And then I just have water coming in this fitting here, this one here just runs up the side of the machine, goes up, down, up onto the this pipe here, comes down, down to the valve, out of the valve, back along, back down into this T piece here which goes into the retarder on each side. Water just goes straight in and uh, that's basically how it works. You can see the light emitting from the Taco. It's just got a patch on the on the shaft which picks up the speed. Um, that's basically how it works. I'll just put the water on. This one on full and this one about half. Keep the engine cool. Um, that's all good. Alright, we'll we'll fire up and and uh, just show you how it operates. Uh, there's not much more than that to it. This is just a this is a turbo engine I built. It's only seven and a half to one compression. Makes 260 horsepower. Got an MSD, six BTM on it. Um, turbos haven't been fitted to it yet, so I'm just running the engine to make sure it runs okay. Um, I'll just put the camera up here.
it for my button and that'll haul the foot pan rating. Uh, the whole thing cost me about two grand. Uh, I got a fuel tank from the swap meet and bits and pieces and yeah, not very expensive at all. Quite a, quite a cheap and, and very effective tool for tuning. I hope that might be of some help to everybody out there trying to build one and want a few ideas. Thank you.